Hi everyone, I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough of Woodpecker's multi-document population feature today. What I have in front of me is just a standard NDA, which I've created a bunch of fields for, inserted them into my document, and I have some values filled out. To get started with the feature, the first thing I need to do is actually save this document to my document collection by clicking this button right here in the top right. Once I do that, my document along with all of the fields are actually going to get saved to my personal document collection, which is stored in Woodpecker Secure Cloud. Um, after that, now my document is all, it's all set to go, so what I'm also going to do is go over to another test document that I have um, where I'm going to create a couple of fields for us. So if we, this is a new document, right, that I'm also going to save to my document collection after I've created a couple of fields. So let's go ahead and create a state field. Set it as a single select and just specify a couple of options here. And then I'll create another field and call it party one name. Set it as a single line text. And then I'm just going to insert these fields a couple of times into the doc just so we can have an example. Set some values for them. And instead of clicking populate, like normal, I'm actually going to go ahead and click this arrow right here, right to the right of it, and then click populate multiple. So my document's going to get populated with the values I've specified and uploaded to my document collection the same way the other one was. And then what I'm going to get prompted to do is select any other document that I also want to populate at the same time. So if I click the NDA that we saw earlier and click Populate, so what we'll see are the fields that Woodpecker is telling me are not present in the current document that I'm looking at, the test document, but are present in the NDA document that I selected. So basically the overlapping fields are the state and the uh, party one name. Um, which I've specified here, and so Woodpecker is going to take the values for both of those and apply them to both documents. But these fields that I'm looking at right here are the, are the fields that are not present in both documents, and thus I need to provide values for them um, so that Woodpecker can fill them out in the, uh, in the NDA document. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the values as they are, go ahead and click Populate, and now Woodpecker is going to go and populate both documents for me with all of the values that I've specified, and I'm going to get a zip file generated for me at the end. So I can either copy a link to the zip file, which will, the link will actually only last an hour, so I could share it with whoever I want, and it's a, it's a secure link that actually expires. Um, and, or I can download the zip file itself. So if I were to download the zip file, I would see that all of my documents, both documents that I specified, the test document and the NDA, would be in the zip file, uh, all prepared for me with the values that I've specified. 